Hello guys. Well, I don't have much good news for you. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I started with that idea. Is it possible to recover silver with salt and vinegar? Uh, that uh, solution was uh, sit on top of a fireplace, uh, there was always a warm and uh, open lid, so air can come in and out. And uh, first week uh, I noticed that yes, um, the liquid turned uh, blue quite fast because of the surface area of the copper. Uh, it was, you know, filed and uh, the re uh, reaction was uh, quite uh, fast. And uh, I also noticed that uh, when I poured that powder or uh, at least I watched that powder on my table, uh, about 90% I believe uh, it was copper, but uh, when I look it under microscope I saw uh, uh, tiny pieces of uh, silver there also and uh, it was about the uh, second week or so um, that the powder it went a little bit darker like uh, silver in color as you can see right here and uh, now it's a third week and then the, even the silver was gone eventually so uh, vinegar mixed with salt dissolves silver also but um, now I have to do another test you can see here on my table I have exactly one gram of uh, filed copper and one gram of uh, filed pure silver and uh, the silver came from one of these old Russian contacts and uh, yeah I hold it I hold it that piece between those pliers and uh, just rubbing down the file and so I got one gram uh, I have here two jars uh, filled uh, about further away uh, with uh, vinegar, 30% uh, vinegar. I did not add any salt to them and uh, I'm gonna put those uh, filings into uh, separate jars and I wanna see how fast uh, copper dissolves and uh, how fast silver dissolves in the vinegar. Uh, if uh, copper dissolves faster than uh, silver then that method actually might work but you have to time it somehow so that the uh, mixture of uh, copper and uh, silver doesn't stay in a solution too long otherwise it will dissolve the silver too. It will dissolve some silver from the start anyway at least I think so but uh, right now I want to know how fast these uh, reactions gonna take and which one dissolves faster and yeah basically that first first experiment is a kind of fail I have to disappoint you because um, you don't know if you don't try it out. At least now you know don't mix anything before I can get some kind of uh, results. Hopefully even, even if that uh, silver dissolves in that vinegar maybe we can cement it out somehow. I believe there are videos uh, on uh, YouTube how to do that. 
I have been searching but I have quite find something like that but okay anyways I'm gonna put copper here now there it is and now silver silver filings and there we go just gonna wiggle those a little bit and yes everything went all the way to the bottom you can see right here and yes I'm gonna put those things onto my uh, fireplace it's always warm there uh, at least most of the time and let's see what's gonna happen in a week or so hopefully the reactions are fast and the meanwhile I have been messing around with the IC chips here uh, I'm gonna zoom the camera a little bit closer about right here and uh, as you can see I see chip here and it's empty uh, it's empty uh, on the middle and the reason is why I used my uh, engraving machine and just uh, did that little hole here uh, as I mentioned uh, my last video uh, I want to get that gold out and uh, leaving about 90-95% uh, uh, the mass rest of the mass behind and uh, it should be much uh, easier to get that uh, gold out from here and um, I run a little experiment with my homemade uh, homemade how, how is this called I'm gonna zoom out just a bit uh, this is a gold pan or whatever that is there is a hot hot glue stripes but it kind of works and um, uh, if I don't have much all that the black stuff and the copper and that uh, silicon dye which is in the middle here uh, it's uh, much easier to separate that gold uh, here at least it, it has been worked for me and um, if some of that copper uh, comes along it's completely okay uh, because uh, vinegar eats copper and uh, leaving uh, gold untouched behind uh, I don't know if you can see but uh, uh, it is a little bit uh, soaked in a vinegar and uh, right here the copper is already uh, turned uh, greenish, bluish uh, and I watched uh, with my microscope I have a quite nice amount of uh, gold there there is only there is only one chip and I uh, one one chip gold or what one chip contains um, you know if I incinerate or uh, uh, some uh, making a pow yeah my, my English sucks uh, if I process all of that weight I have a truck loads of uh, powder but a really 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 tiny amount of uh, gold and uh, when you're panning it most most or uh, quite quite nice amount of gold is uh, coming with it and if, and even you can you can see if it goes through the pan and uh, so on uh, so I decided to uh, engrave or this 
or a drill in here so I'm removing only the part which is uh, which is uh, containing that uh, gold and uh, it's uh, it's uh, visually vis visually uh, much easier to pan if you actually see what you are panning out because um, if I'm using my engraving machine also those uh, gold bond wires uh, are getting uh, really really tiny and uh, you, ha you have to just uh, watch what you are uh, panning out so uh, this is what I have been up to now and uh, here is a little a little bit smaller I see chip and I did the same same thing here first I was like uh, fishing around with my engraving machine and uh, I try to locate where is that uh, uh, silicon die and if I can find it I can work around just enough so I can uh, get all those uh, gold bond wires uh, and basically all the way to the copper where that uh, gold bond wire starts and on that uh, silicon die where it ends and I collected all of them so um, I have quite many of these kinds of uh, chips, uh, PGAs and these uh, whatever they are called and the flat packs. Uh, I'm about to do 10, I believe 10 IC chips. I'm gonna remove that the middle part and then I'm gonna try to pan out as good as I can. I, I haven't done that panning thing uh, basically at all. A few times with that thing, with the old dog's drinking bowl or whatever that is. Anyway, and uh, I'm gonna, after that, I'm gonna take a microscope shot and I uh, wanna see uh, how concentrated that gold uh, is in that uh, mixture what I finally will can get out and of course uh, uh, I have a little soup bowl uh, I will put those uh, I will put that powder inside and uh, yes I will incinerate or uh, burn it a little bit so uh, it makes that dusty stuff and uh, it you know floats uh, floats much better on uh, water or on uh, acetone or uh, soap soapy water or whatever and leaving the heavy materials uh, behind well these are my thoughts how I'm trying to recover that gold certainly that's not the best method but at least uh, not any kind of dangerous chemicals and uh, I can do it I can do it here safely behind my uh, workbench and no no hazards basically at all yet yeah, maybe a little bit that uh, dust which is coming uh, off from here but uh, when I use my engraving machine uh, actually I didn't see anything that is now flying or a big dust cloud or something like that. Just small particles of, and stuff. So, these are my ideas and uh, hopefully I can upload videos much, uh, uh, much, much more. And uh, I, I'm just a busy guy with my work and with my other work and and sometimes I'm just getting back home so late there, there is no mood to make any any videos because you are so tired and you are so hungry and uh, much of stuff you have to do at uh, home so well anyway guys thank you so much for uh, watching and uh, hopefully next time I can bring you some better news be safe and see you soon